Did I just see what I thought I saw? Students in the classroom and watching virtually Thursday got a shock when a man pretending to be a student donned a mask, mooned the class, and waved a gun at the camera. You can hear the student the man was posing as proclaim his innocence. Yeah, that ain't me. Get out of here! Another student laughed as he reported it. It appears the imposter was kicked out within 30 seconds of the start of his outburst. He didn't say anything. <laughs> experience our first Zoom bomb, but we don't know how. The school says the computer the man used traced to Kansas City, and they don't believe students were in danger. Brookfield <laughs> police are trying to identify him and say charges could range from disorderly conduct to making terroristic threats. Anybody into this, these spaces, and we need to make sure that we have better control of who can get in and who cannot. We talked with Milwaukee cybersecurity expert Alex Holden of Hold Security on a Zoom call, which he says can be vulnerable to hackers, especially if there's no verification of who actually is a student. Even though, uh, like in this case, uh, somebody can pretend to be a student and be let in uh, without uh, this uh, type of uh, additional vetting, there has to be some specific identification of each student who is coming into virtual classroom. So, Nick, what is the school saying about its security procedures for video classes? Well, Joyce, they say that they followed all proper procedures and protocols in this case. But, of course, in the wake of this incident, they are reviewing those. Right, Nick Bohr reporting live from Brookfield.